Croc, what up? Okay, good. Cat, I see you. Cat, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Big fella, what's going on, man? Thanks for allowing me to talk to your daughter this evening. I appreciate it. All right, cool. So we'll let a few more guests get on, Cat. We'll start promptly at 6 o'clock. Excited to talk to you. Cat, give me all your personality tonight, too. Don't hold back on me. <laughs> I know you guys got a lot of snow up there. I see that. Jeez. Mauricio, are you still playing? Everything's great. Everything is great. JJ, what's good, baby? Got to get in the holiday spirit, Jay. Got my got my biggie Christmas sweater on, everything. I'm ready for this one. Becky Heaps. How are you? Dappy146, thanks for joining in. Appreciate y'all getting on here. Same to you and yours, man. Same to you and yours. Glad Grace got eligible immediately. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. There goes the woman of the house. Trish, how you doing? Oh, and we got little sis on who ain't so little no more. Okay, we got everybody on here tonight. Jay, what's good? Welcome to episode 75 of the Positive Impact Podcast, where we talk about all topics relevant to the game I love. I am your host, Terrell Dozier, and as you can see, I'm in the holiday spirit. You know what I'm saying? I got my, my Biggie Christmas sweatshirt on, I got my Christmas hat on, and I wanted to do a a feel good story around this holiday season, such a, you know, such a rough year for all of us. And I think I had the perfect one. So I would like to you introduce you to my guest, Quinnipiac sophomore center, Miss Catherine Almeida. Oh, 
<laughs> Hi. What's going on? Nothing much. Good. I, Good wish, to see I wish something more was going on that I could share with you, but nothing. <laughs> listen, listen, you're smiling. That's all that really matters right now. You're smiling. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see that you're, you know, that you're smiling. That means that means everything right now. So, you know, I know it's been a kind of a, a crazy year, but you know, I always start off by asking my guests how you've been doing during the pandemic. What's been different? How you've been getting along? Um, I've been good. I think I'm kind of used to it now. Um, but yeah, now being home, I'm just like finishing up some classes that I was able to get extensions on. And other than that, I'm trying to get back in shape, which is fun. <laughs> and tough. It's tough, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy to fall out of shape and tough to get back in shape. Yeah, I came home and I just like stopped for a little bit. And now yeah. I'm really feeling it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's, let's dive right into this whole thing um, and talk about how you got into the game of basketball, which has gotten you this far at this juncture in your life? Um, yeah, I was forced to play in <laughs> second grade. And then I just kind of never stopped. <laughs> mm. then, um, yeah, and then I switched to Shen, which is where I played 10th grade to 12th grade, mm -hmm. which was really good for me. And then I started getting offer so it kind of i don't know it just kind of happened so all right so let's let's go back now you said you was <laughs> now you said you were forced to play yeah you were forced to play now were you forced to play because your dad played yeah. um i think that's why i didn't want to play is because i random i just wanted to like rebel <laughs> I, I uh i just like didn't want to and then um, obviously i was like a foot taller than everybody that mm -hmm. <laughs> was my age so they kind of made me at least try it and then I never stopped. So, yeah. <laughs> do you remember your first basketball experience? And if you do, what was that? What was that like? Um, the only thing I remember was like, they would just throw me the ball in the middle. I just turn and chuck it. But other than that, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you were forced to play it, but like, did you like it or like because you didn't want to play like you didn't give it a chance so like how was that first initial feeling of once you finally got forced on the court and you started playing um i wish i remembered like the beginning but i mm -hmm. remember like once i got to like fifth and sixth grade i really liked it um mm -hmm. i honestly am not sure about before that but yeah once I got with, like, you know, my little friend group, my little basketball friend group, and I started playing, like, AAU, mm -hmm. then I really liked it and started, mm -hmm. like, realizing, oh, okay, I'm, like, actually okay at this. Right. Nah, no <laughs> Which question. then I no think question. made me like it. Because I remember in, like, fourth grade, I was pretty bad. I had no idea what I was doing, and they pulled me up because I was so tall. Mm -hmm. And every time I touched the ball, I get a double dribble because I, like, didn't understand what mm -hmm. that was. Mm -hmm. Um. So I remember, I think I remember not really wanting to go to practices and games then. But then once I kind of figured it out, it got better. And I actually wanted to be there. <laughs> so when did that, so when did that turn for you? So when did it go from that to like, you know what? I really want to get, I really want to get better at this and, and actually, and actually work hard at this. Like when, when did that happen for you? Um. I mean, I started to like it like fifth and sixth grade, but I wouldn't say I like worked hard. You know, I just went to the two practices a week and mm -hmm. showed up at the games. But then probably like like seventh grade when I made like the freshman team at my high school, then I like actually and that's when I started working out with you because I realized mm -hmm. I have to, you know, actually have some sort of muscle on my body. Yeah. <laughs> um, nah, so, yeah, no I think like seventh grade is probably one. No, and I remember I remember when you first, you know, when you first came in and, you know, having to start from, you know, really like start from the bottom and like kind of get your body kind of caught up with the height and, and yeah. kind of put it all, you know, and kind of and kind of putting it all, you know, kind of putting it putting it all together. But you know what I what I do remember about um, working with you was, you know, you never complained. You know, you 
you listen, you were a willing, you were a willing participant and, and it's starting to show, you know, and it has showed you went on to have a great career. So I yeah. think you started off at um, Holy Names. Is that uh, correct? Catholic High. Catholic, Catholic High. High. Okay. So yeah. you started off there and yeah. what, what made you make the switch? Um, the shame. They, cut, they cut me from the team. <laughs> And then I switched. Yes, that is why. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I never <laughs> listen. I never them. knew that. Yeah, and you know it worked out for the best. But yeah, it's kind of <laughs> funny. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! So man. Kind of, my mom always said it was like Michael Jordan thing. Like, oh yeah, he got cut from basically. <laughs> he got cut. I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> then, oh man. So you go to Shen, okay, so you go to Shen, and, you know, Shen was, is known in the capital region, you know, powerhouse girls basketball program, and, yeah. you know, but nobody, they never really had a presence inside like you, you know what I mean? Like, you definitely bought, you definitely bought a, a different element to the program, you know what I mean? They always had shooters and girls yeah. that could play, but, like, to have a presence, a six-foot-four presence inside who now they can start to throw it to, who can face up and, and hit the jump shot as well. You know, you kind of bought them a new element and and it worked out, I think, for you. And I think obviously it worked out for the program to two sectional championships at, you know, at Shen. And over the years, I've seen your game just start to blossom. Like, you know what I mean? And, you know, not just this tall girl who's just there because she's tall, but she's actually tall and can really do some things. So yeah. when do you feel like it started to click for you? And you know what? I can play this game at the next level too. Like when did it start to really click for you? Um, after I joined Havoc with Terrence, mm -hmm. um, I was a freshman. He let me be on his top team as a freshman when mm -hmm. I was pretty, very awkward and mm -hmm. like not great. Right. Um, and, but then I started getting like lots of interest letters, like after the tournaments, mm -hmm. which I never expected because mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't, I didn't, at the time, I didn't feel like I was good because I was.